Mr. Abbott here, and I'd like to uh, help some of you. Uh, you seem to be having difficulty with using scales uh, for one of the labs we're working on, so came up with an example for you. Um, models are incredibly important, and when you're creating a scale model um, where a physical model is representing an actual object, um, you need to use a proportion to figure out the correct relative size. So if we're trying to make a model, we're going to compare what the size of the model is or what the size of the feature is on Earth to the size of the Earth, and then size of the feature on the model to the size of the model. So the best way to play with this is to actually give you an example. So let's say we're trying to make a 15 centimeter globe and we wanted to represent the deepest part of the ocean, which is the Challenger Deep of the Mariana Trench. Um, how big would that be? How deep of a groove should you have if you're scaling the Earth down to a 15 centimeter globe? Uh, I'm asking you to round this to three decimal places. So we're going to have to find this information. We already know 15 centimeters is the size of our globe, so we have this. Um, there's four things. You have to know three in order to solve your proportion. So I went online, and um, when I Googled this, I found this. Okay, National Geographic seems to be a good source. They have the Mariana Trench as 11,034 meters. Now, the diameter of the Earth we know in kilometers so to go from meters to kilometers, you're going to shift the decimal three places. So this would equal 11.034 kilometers. Honestly, this isn't incredibly significant in terms of the overall size of the Earth. So we're just going to say that, you know, the depth of the Mariana Trench is 11 kilometers. Now, to look at the Earth, we know that on the reference table, it gives you the equatorial diameter. But when I looked online, this is the value that I got for the average diameter. Honestly, if you use the equatorial diameter to scale, it probably wouldn't make much of a difference. So now we're saying our feature is 11 kilometers. That's the depth of the Mariana Trench. And... The size of our planet is 12,742 kilometers. So we can use our proportion to try to figure out how deep this should actually be on a 11 kilometer, um, an 11 kilometer feature on a 15 centimeter globe. So I've got the proportion there. All right. When you're doing this, it's the feature to the whole is equal to the feature to the whole. So the Mariana Trench we just saw was 11 kilometers, and we have 12,742 kilometers as the average diameter I found. Our unknown is going to be the depth of the Mariana Trench on our globe, and the size of our model is supposed to be 15.0 centimeters. Now, you'll see I have kilometers on both sides here. Centimeters is here, so when we solve this, this should be x in centimeters. Now, I hope that you know to solve a proportion, we can cross multiply. So if I'm doing this, I have x times 12,742 kilometers would equal 11 kilometers times 15.0 centimeters. All right, so I cross multiplied. I need to solve, find x by itself. So I'm going to divide both sides by 12,742 kilometers. Okay, this cancels. So then I have 12,742 kilometers here. So if I can just plug this into my calculator, I can solve for what the correct scale height should be. Now my kilometers cancels kilometers, so my final answer is going to be in centimeters. I'm going to put my calculator here. I've got 11 times 
15, I get 165. So this would be 165 centimeters over 12,742. So I have to divide by 12,742. And I get some insanely small value. So when I'm looking at this, this is 0 0.0129493. That's in my calculator. But I said three decimal places, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. This is nine. So I'm going to round this up. And the size of your scratch or groove should be 0 0.0. One three centimeters. Okay, that's ridiculously small. That's a little more than a tenth of a millimeter. Now, another thing they can ask you to do with this is to look for a percentage of error. So we're going to imagine that they tried to manufacture that globe. Okay, they vertically exaggerate or overestimate the size. So what if they used a 0.3 centimeter groove to show the trench so you could actually see it? What would the percentage error for, be for the depth of that on the model? We're going to use the earlier calculation as the accepted model. So what we had there was it should have been 0 0.013 centimeters. Okay, the 0.3, what they're using in the model, we're going to use as the measured value, and then we'll plug it into the percent error or percent deviation formula. So when I go to do this, the difference, 0 0.3 centimeters, is the size they used, minus 0 0.0. 1, 3 centimeters, which is what it should have been to scale. Now, that's going to be 0 0.013 centimeters is going to be the actual value. And don't forget to multiply by 100. So, once again, 0 0.3 minus 0 0.013 gives me 0.287. So just to sort of see the numbers a little bit, my percent is going to be 0.287 centimeters over 0.013 centimeters. I'm going to multiply that by 100. Now, percent error, my units always cancel. So I'm going to wind up with percent. I still have the 0.287, so I'm dividing that by 0 0.013, which is the value we should have had. And I'm getting 22.07. I multiply that by 100 to get my percent, and I wind up with 2,200. And let's say we round that to a whole number, it would be. 2,208% error. So their 0.3 centimeter scratch or groove is over 2,200% too deep. If they actually tried to make it correctly to scale, you wouldn't even perceive it because the earth is very smooth to scale. So they over exaggerate the size of mountains and valleys when they make a standard relief map. Um, sometimes they refer to that as the vertical exaggeration. Hope this example helped you.